Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. Hope you had a great start to your week yesterday and are ready to charge forth into the week. <laughs> Today is Tech Tuesday, and I want to show you an application that you can access if you have a touchscreen device, whether that is a touchscreen Chromebook, an iPad, a tablet, perhaps, an iPhone, anything that is touchscreen, you'll be able to download this application, I believe, on it. It is called How to Draw just simply how to draw. And I'll be showing you um, what that application has in store. Let's check it out. Like I said, this application is called How to Draw. If you have reached the application with a kitty cat on it, you have reached the correct application How to Draw. There might be some other ones that are similarly named, but this is the application that we are looking at today. It has a little orange kitty cat on there. All right, so I'm gonna click into here. And what I want to show you is that this application has a bunch of really cool things. Of course, there are ads, as usual, that you'll kind of have to wait through or close down. <clears throat> but it has a, lunch, a bunch of really great drawing tools, especially for animals. Now, you'll notice down here that it has some other tabs, like some cute drawings, desserts, flowers, different kinds of eyes. Well, this is a free application, but it's only a free application to access how to draw animals, okay? If you go into these other tabs, you're going to have to ask a parent to access them. Because if I were to click on this one, it is going to be considered a premium drawing method, which will cost $3.99. Do not buy these without your parents' permission. You have to ask for parent permission in order to access these other tabs, okay? So if they say that is, you can access those and they want to pay for that, that is fantastic. But without their permission or if they say no, all you can access are these animals. Now, these are still a really great collection of animals. They range from easy to hard. Got a bunch of different kinds that they can teach you how to draw. And they're all super cute. You can add your own original touch to them. Every single one of these is free to draw. So I would definitely challenge you to choose one that you like and to try and see if you can practice drawing that today. I'm gonna go through one of them with you that I like and show you exactly how this program works. So I'm gonna go back up, Oop, missed it. All right, and I'm gonna be going to my penguin friend today. He's pretty, he's pretty cute. Now it shows you on here how many steps it's gonna take to make this penguin. It's gonna take nine steps and the difficulty level of it. This is going to be an easy one, which is why I chose it. So for my kinder through second babies, if you want to um, check these guys out. I would definitely say kinder go easy, first go easy, second go easy, maybe try a normal one. And on my upper grades you could try any of these and I think you'd find yourself to be successful. Alright, so I'm going to click on here and it's going to show you this kind of gridded looking paper. Now you can't draw on here I found out. So it's basically going to show you a step by step of what to do. So you need a piece of paper next to you. A pencil or some kind of drawing utensil. I find that a pencil might be better for this because we might need to erase and then we could color later. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. We can start big on this. Big allows us to mess up and to be able to erase. So it kind of shows this like little bit of like a jelly bean kind of and see, like I said, there's going to be some ads. Ignore them. They take like five seconds to get through and X them out, and then we're back. All right, so jelly bean kind of shape, kind of like an oval. Again, I'm going big. So now when I come back here on my oval, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let it go out a little bit. All right, let me make that a little bit darker for you guys. Remember, the key is always to go light first in case you mess up, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and go over this. You keep yours nice and light until the very end. If I mess up on mine, oh well. All right, jelly bean kind of <clears throat> shape. 
Then I'm going to draw, this is going to be a reference line. Now I know we talked about this in some of my older classes. In younger classes, we haven't gotten there yet. A reference line should always be pretty light. I'm drawing mine darker so that you can see it. But a reference line is light because we're going to erase that at the end. All right, I'm going to switch over to my next one. So I have the body of my penguin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay special attention to where things are located. So I'm going to start with this nose. The nose it looks like the curve comes up to a point, kind of, at the middle line. It comes out just a little bit from the body and then goes back in. So I'm going to start it over here with my curve going up and out. And then I could kind of round that out a little bit more. And coming down, okay. My mouth is, starts pretty close to the edge of this line, but not quite over to the edge of this line. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna go over. That's his little smile. He needs his little cheek. I'm gonna erase this a little bit so we don't get ourselves confused. All right, he needs his little cheek. So his little cheek just has a little curve up here goes down and out. That can show us he's smiling a little bit better. And he has this little accent line right here that's showing that his nose has a little bit of a shine to it. All right, next up is gonna be our eyes. Now if you notice, on this side, the eye, the circle is touching the side of the face and the line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my circle. It doesn't go over this line in the face. It stays within the body. And then I'm gonna draw a circle on the other side that's about the same size. All right. Then we need the pupils of his eyes, the dark part of his eyes. I'm gonna just do a quickly color those in. All right, I got some eyes. All right, now we're gonna be dealing with one of his wings. So, it looks like the back part of his wing almost touches the back of his body, curves inwards and out, the tip of it just going below his body, and then it comes in close to that middle line, but it doesn't touch it. Okay. Make that a little bit darker so you can see what I did. All right, that's the first wing. All right, now this is basically showing you if at this point you want to reshape the body a little bit, you could reshape the body, kind of make it a little bit more curvy if we want. So I might come in here. I might round his head down a little bit quicker because I think I went a little bit too far out over here. and then kind of link it up back here. That might make him look a little bit less weird. And then I could come in a little bit down here, just kind of trim him up a little bit. All right. Now next is we need his tail. So I'm now working off of this line right here. So let me highlight that for you. So I'm now working off of my nice blue line. All right. All right, so I've got his tail. His tail comes really close to his wing. So I'm gonna start here, and then I'm gonna dip out and back. Actually, let me change that a little bit. See, even I've gotta change some things sometimes. That one's perfect. Scoop this bit a little bit more. There we go, that's a little bit better. And then we're gonna do his feet. So one of his feet is up here above this line. It starts, comes out. Notice I'm overlapping my lines right there to create his little toes. All right. And it definitely comes into the body before this line starts. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the back of the other foot. So that's gonna come down from his wing, 
It's gonna curve outwards into his toes. The reason why this one is bigger is because he's standing to the side of us, so we can see the side of his body a little bit better than we can the front of his body. So the front of his body appears to be, or this part of his body appears to be a little bit smaller to us, when actually they're both the same size. So I'm gonna fix this, this foot a little bit. I'm not too happy with that. So I'm gonna have this one coming out. You can always change as you're going along. Never be afraid to erase something or mess up. Mess ups happen all the time. All right. All right, now it wants us to add after this add. Four, three, two, one, X. It wants us to add the kind of little mask around his face. That's gonna be for coloring later on. Right, so it's gonna dip down over and connect right there to the top of his wing. We want this side to have a similar, a little bit of a triangle pattern. Now, if we follow this line without drawing all the way down here, that's gonna complete that white part circle of his body. And we want it to come down just a little bit into there. And we have his other wing. His wing starts where his nose connects to his body comes up, and I might actually, now I'm looking at, look, if I draw my pencil line over here, it looks like it's even with his eyeball, so I need to drop this down a little bit, or I'm going to make his wing way too big. There we go. Come down, and look, it comes down past that triangle line I already drew. All right. And there we go. All that's left is I just need to get rid of this reference line. Remember, that was just to help us out. That was not to keep there. Penguins don't have that weird line through their body. That would be crazy. All right, here I'm gonna go over this in blue really quick so you can see the full picture because I know now it looks a little bit crazy with that black line. to do if I want to go back and I want to copy the colors that it originally had I could take my marker color all that in and let's fast forward to do my penguin a little bit um, different colors in hopes of covering up that little mistake I made with uh, my extra line. But, you know, that's okay. Things turn out the way they turn out. In order to fix my body, I just decided, you know, I'm just going to roll with it. He's going to be a bigger kind of penguin. I'm going to give him some funky crazy hair because this is my drawing. Remember, you can always do whatever you want in your drawing. And for my first graders and up, we had started talking about landscape quite a bit in my <clears throat> lessons before spring break. And what, what I would challenge you today is what is in the foreground of this picture? What is in the middle ground of this picture? And what is in the background of this picture? So first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, you tell me. What is in the foreground, middle ground, and background of my picture? I added some elements to make this a little bit special. This is more than just a penguin drawing. I wanted to fill my page up. And honestly, I'm probably gonna continue working on this. I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. Check out how to draw and have 
an excellent day.